What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. Today we're reviewing the $6,000 faucet. This is the infamous $6,000 faucet. Here's the thing. I did a little TikTok little clip of it and our TikToks do okay, but this guy blew up. We got 6.4 million views talking about a $6,000 faucet and guess what? I got roasted alive in the comment section. So today we're gonna to talk about what it is, why it's $6,000 and if it's worth the money. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is this thing is great for cocktails. So the first thing I'm gonna do, whip up a quick, quick cocktail, show you. First thing we need, ice. Second thing, we need a few lime wedges. I like a lot of lime myself. I go three wedges, the three wedge guy. Tequila. To taste. Then, we come over here to our faucet. Got our sparkling water in there. Now we have oh, delicious ranch water. Ranch water is awesome. This thing is great for cocktails. All right, so what is this thing? In my TikTok video, TikTok videos are short, so I have a lot of time to explain everything. I was like, it does cold drinking water that's filtered. Okay, then we have sparkling water as well. And you can set the, you know, how much carbonation you actually want in there. And then it does instant boiling water, but there's a safety feature you gotta to touch first. So you can see, I don't know if the steam, if the camera's picking up the steam, but that's over 200 degrees. And how quick, how quick did it, was it boiling? Within a few seconds, right? So that's like the gist of what it does. And people were roasting me, cause it's like, man, $6,000 and you, they're like, oh, we go to Walmart and get the same thing, get a sparkling water machine. It's, it's not the same thing. Uh, boiling water, like, oh yeah, just turn your faucet on. It doesn't get boiling. Like you have to put a kettle on to do that or get an electric kettle. So that's what I was getting obliterated for. All right, all joking aside, let's talk about the function. So that's what it does. And you can see the way that we have it installed is we have it separate from our main faucet. So what's cool about that is you can put it anywhere in your kitchen. So let's say you wanted it in your island, you wanted it, you know, closer to like your bar where like your under counter refrigerator are or all your drinks are, you could have it more stationed like by as a bar piece if you wanted to do it that way. So you can do it as a totally separate function and there's a ton of different designs and heads that you can do. Um, with its own drain, but you do have to have its own drain. So we did it by the sink so we could just tie it into the drain super easy. There's also an option where you can do it as the primary sink here. So then you have a fourth function and that's city water or, you know, wherever you get well water or whatever you're getting. So it's going to do, you know, it's regular tap water. It will do cold filtered drinking water, sparkling water, and instant boiling water. So you can have it as uh, just one sink head as well. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. So obviously it's expensive. Like you're, you're spending a good chunk of money for those features. You know, really it's, a, it's excessive, but it's a luxury piece. So if you're looking for it, add a luxury piece to your, your home or your kitchen, definitely take a look at it. So it really takes up an entire cabinet. So this is sort of your hub here that's gonna control everything. So you have your water lines running into this and then a water line going up to the faucet itself and then your drain. You can see we have our CO2 tank. That's going to be for our sparkling water. And then here we can sort of troubleshoot everything. It connects to Wi-Fi. We can purge our line for our CO2. We could look up our service records. Um, and then also on our settings, you can see we can set the temperature of our boiling water. Uh, we can check our filter life. 
We can also check our dispense time. So that's what's really cool is our dispense time in cold is set to 15 seconds. So if you turn this on, you can see it will automatically shut off after 15 seconds. So you could sort of time, let's say you, you generally use like a 20 ounce water bottle or something. You could time that out on how, how long it takes to fill up a 20 ounce water bottle and then set the time to that. And auto, as you can see there, it kicked itself off. So that's pretty cool. So it definitely does more than just, you know, those three water functions. Definitely gets warm in here though. So the other thing is you do have to have an air out. So we have this vent here and then an air in so your cabinet doesn't overheat because this thing is doing a lot of work. And that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying it's so much more, so much more than just a faucet itself. So really the biggest obstacle when installing is making sure you have the cabinet space for the control hub, making sure you can drain it. It hooks up to a regular 110, takes regular water lines. So it's pretty straightforward to install. And typically if you're installing it as the main sink, you definitely should have room underneath the sink itself. So, you know, space shouldn't be a problem. Here's a question. Is it worth $6,000? Well, here's what I say. Actually, I say this in all my videos. I think it depends. It depends on what your particular needs are or what your particular wants are. I would put this in a want category more than a need. It's definitely not a need. Like you can make do with a regular sink. Um, I think it depends on your particular circumstances and what you value. Like out of all the things in this kitchen, like would I install this over a skillet top or a wine dispenser? No, because I use a wine dispenser way more uh, or a pizza oven or whatever it is. So if you have an overall budget and you're like this, I got to cut something from the budget. Honestly, this would probably be one of the first to go, but if it's within your budget, and you think it's sticking awesome, then go ahead and put it in. Like, I think it's cool. We use it every day. Don't you think, Chris? All the guys fill up their water bottles here. Um, a lot of people like sparkling water too. We use that boiling water. The guys got some tea today. So got, they're, getting their, their tea, they're upping their tea game. So they're getting real classy. So it's definitely adding some value there. So that's a long-winded answer. Think about your personal circumstance. Think about what your budget is. If it's within the budget, go for it. Um, if you're gonna stretch the budget, I don't know if I'd cut something else to put this in. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's other unnecessary things you can put in the kitchen, but this is an unnecessary thing. It's completely unnecessary, but is it awesome? Yes. Do you need one? No. Do you want one? Probably. So there's my long-winded answer. It's, it's super awesome. If you guys wanna come see it, we're in the Denver, Colorado area, come check it out in our showroom. Stay tuned for more videos. You can also check this out on our website. We'll see you next time.